Temperature dependence of effusion. Molecules of a gas enclosed within a container effuse through a small hole into a surrounding vacuum. Suppose that the absolute temperature of the gas in the container is doubled while its pressure is kept constant. By what factor does the number of molecules escaping per second through the hole change? Okay, so uh, we know the particle flux and remember that particle uh, flux is basically defined as number of particles hitting a unit area per unit time. And we have two versions of this particle flux. We can show it with this funny F. Uh, it was 1 over 6 NV bar uh, in our uh, elementary discussion. Then we have found out using the uh, Maxwell uh, velocity distribution and spherical distribution of velocities that the correct formula for the flux, particle flux, is 1 over 4 NV bar where n is the total number of particles divided by volume v, uh, it's the number density, and we have v bar, that is the mean speed of the molecules. Now this question is about uh, what happens if uh, under constant pressure the temperature is doubled, so I need to look at the behavior of n and v bar to tell you what will happen to the particle flux. Now since this is an ideal gas, p bar v is equal to capital N kT, um, the thermal energy. So we find that uh, p bar is equal to the number density times kT. So if under constant pressure I have a uh, n is equal to p bar divided by kt so uh, if temperature is doubled i can conclude that as temperature increases n decreases so when the temperature is doubled at constant pressure n is multiplied by a factor 1 over 2 so it's going to decrease by a factor of 2 on the other hand, I need to look at what happens to uh, V bar. Um, now we have in Maxwell's speed distribution, uh, remember that we have three important uh, speeds in the Maxwell speed distribution. F of V dV, that is the number of molecules with speeds in the range V to V plus dV per unit volume. So uh, this was uh, 4 pi a constant c v squared e to the minus beta mv squared over 2 dv. And we have found that by taking the derivative of uh, f or natural logarithm of f with respect to v and setting it equal to 0, the most probable speed was square root 2 kt over m and for the vrms uh, we have uh, we can use equipartition uh, theorem for instance and which tells us that the uh, kinetic energy average kinetic energy per particle that is 1 over 2 mv square bar is equal to 3 over 2 kt then we have v square bar square root is square root 3 kT over m. That was the RMS speed. And we know that uh, if we look at the probability uh, of having a speed in the range v to v plus dv, we can calculate this by 1, of one over n uh, integral over all possible speeds f of v v dv this will give us the probability multiplied by the speeds and from this calculation we find a v bar value which is square root 
8 kt over pi m and we know that v tilde most probable speed is less than v bar the average speed is less than v rms root mean square speed so uh, you can see that uh, in either case when t is doubled uh, v bar is proportional to square root of the temperature therefore uh, when t is doubled v bar is going to be multiplied by a factor square root 2 so what happens to the particle flux so the particle flux uh, will become 1 over 4 n is decreased by a factor 2 v bar is increased by a factor square root 2 so this will be uh, 1 over square root 2 times uh, 1 over 4 and v bar so we find that it will decrease by a factor it will be uh, decreased by 2 to the power minus 1 half so it is 1 over uh, square root 2 Now, part B, by what factor does the force change which is exerted on a vane suspended at some distance in front of the hole? Well, for part B, since we have a constant pressure, P bar is a constant. So that means the force per area is a constant. So uh, the force that is exerted on a vane uh, suspended at some distance in front of the hole will not change. So it does not change. That is due to having a constant pressure. Okay, so uh, we're wondering what happens if we double the temperature at constant pressure inside the container to the flux of particles, that is the number of particles hitting a unit area per unit time. So by what factor does the number of particles, molecules escaping per second through the hole change? So we have a constant area. Therefore, we're looking at the change in the flux. The flux, particle flux is 1 over 4 nV bar. N is number density. And it is related to the pressure and temperature through ideal gas law. N is P bar over KT when temperature is doubled. N is decreased by a factor of 2. And Maxwell uh, speed distribution. So I have misspelled Maxwell here. Uh, Maxwell speed distribution uh, gives us um, a most probable speed of square root 2 KT over M. The RMS speed is square root 3 KT over M, which can also be found using equipartition theorem. And the average speed, which is 1 over n, integral over all possible speeds, f of v, v, dv, which is 1 over n, f of v, uh, is the probability. So this it gives us square root 8 kt over pi m, which is in between square root 2 and square root 3, square root 8 over pi. Uh, so we have v bar is proportional to square root of t. So uh, when the temperature is doubled, v bar increases by a factor of the square root 2 so v bar increased by a factor of square root 2 and decreased by a factor of 2 means the flux has decreased by a factor uh, square root 2 1 over square root 2 uh, and since the pressure is kept constant in part uh, b if the pressure uh, on the hole is a constant then the pressure uh, at a distance from the hole will also be a constant so it won't change